Hey, so I just wanna to talk to you guys about this uh, 23 and Me thing. This is, it was like a present given to me on my birthday back in February, which now it's June. <laughs> and the biggest problem why I haven't taken it yet is because I hate mailing things, so. <laughs> I uh, I am horrible at mailing. Anytime it comes to mailing something, I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's an INFP thing. Every Now that I'm doing all these videos, I keep coming across, I keep talking to people and things that I might have um, figured is something I'm just some weirdo for, I bring it up and it's commonly like, yeah, I do that too. So I don't know if the mailing thing's an INFP thing. It's probably just a me being lazy thing. I don't know, but I think this is just kind of a USA thing. And it might be in other countries. Uh, there might be different spinoffs of it, but basically it's a DNA test kit. Um, and it's not some kind of MBTI psychological thing. But again, I'm, I'm so interested in finding out things about myself. And this is just another facet that people that are intrigued by who they are and where they come from and things like that. It's it's just something else to look into. So I'm actually excited about it and why I've put it off for like five months now, I don't know. Well, I do know, but. Anyway, this is like, there's different versions. Uh, there's like, this one's a health and plus ancestry kit. Uh, there's one that's just ancestry. So it'll tell you where you're from. I've been told by my mom's side of the family that I'm mostly German and uh, my dad's side supposedly mostly Irish. So. This will just debunk all that and kind of put it all to rest and just give me better insights of where I actually come from. I'm just basically gonna run you guys through it. I'll uh, ship it off. It takes a few weeks to get back and then I'll uh, redo the video, which will be on the end of this video. And it'll just, I'll just kind of skim over my results. But again, it's, it's just me. You might not be interested in it, but if you've ever been interested in the 23andMe thing, we'll just go through it together and you can kind of see like, that's interesting, but what the heck's it even about? So I'll just give you my experience with it. But. This is, uh, it's a kit. How you open it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so. It even welcomes you with a hi. <laughs> so we obviously know it's a friendly uh, little package here. Um, instructions that, uh, let's see. And then you get this, all right, that's. That's about all that's in there. That's the, that's the unpackaging of 23andMe. So it looks like a little s sample thing that, I'll go, I'll go take it real quick. Just kidding. You actually just spit in the tube. You don't actually pee in the bottle. <laughs> so that, that was pretty dumb, but it, it. So you got like a little test tube that you spit into. And you got a cap and then it just, you mail it back in the same packaging that's already addressed and all this stuff. So this is, uh, it's just interesting to me. It's, it's another thing with the health part of it. I mean, ancestry is cool, but like the health part, I got all kinds of health issues. So I'm sure mine's gonna, my results are just basically gonna be like, dude. <laughs> uh, and then there's gonna be some kind of Uber ticket to get to the hospital as quick as I can. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, it's interesting to see. I don't know what the health side of it is, but it, it's, it's probably gonna go into stuff that I don't really wanna hear <laughs> because I already know there's stuff in there that's bad. So when it gets back in the mail, we will go over this and kind of find out what it's all about. You can like disassemble this thing. It's kind of a, uh, this, this liquid's leaking, which it's an alcohol. I don't know what's, I'm gonna break this thing. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna go spit in the tube. I'm gonna mail it off probably in eight weeks <laughs> and and then uh, we'll be back and I'll continue and I'll share with my his history heritage. I'm not gonna sit there and go over it line by line because obviously it's me and you guys are like, I don't care about you, dude. I wanna know about myself and that's all it is. All right, so it's September now and uh, I did the test back in late June. So it's been a while, but so how it ran down was I checked my email to kind of see how it all played out. But after I sent it in the mail finally, uh, it took eight days to get results. So it's not one of those things where it takes like forever and it comes back with all kinds of stuff. So it's, uh, that's what I'm gonna go through in the end of this part of the video is just kind of go through, I'll screen record what's going on on my stuff so you guys can get a kind of idea of what it all shows and what it entails. And there's a lot of cool stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of, I don't know. Some stuff is definitely me. Like I sneeze when I go outside, like when it's sunny out and I, I start sneezing, there's something in there about photos. I don't know what it's called. I'll probably find it, but 
it says I'm not really susceptible to that, but it's not. So it's 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 not fully 100% accurate, but all right. So here is the first page I logged in. It's got all kinds of again, I got the health and ancestry kit, so I got the two. There you can get the health or ancestry, I believe. It's different price points. Obviously more expensive if you get the double uh, combination here, but they're both they got interesting things. So scroll down the first page, it's got ancestry. I got 39 reports. Health 101, it's got all this stuff. Connections, I got a connection somehow. But anyway, we'll start on the Ancestry. I'll click on this. Anc here's all the kind of stuff with it. Um, ancestry overview. Sean, explore your Ancestry through your DNA. So exciting. So 57.3% British Irish, that's what I figured. That's with my clear reddish complexion hue that I got going on. Uh, then I got the French and German coming up second. And then Scandinavian, I don't even know where that's at, but apparently that's me too. My mother and father didn't lie to me. It is the German and the Irish going on, which I, uh, makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. 1,223 customers of 23andMe um, are relatives to me in some way, shape, or form. Apparently my relatives are 65% <laughs> more likely to have worked as a lifeguard. Uh, I did not because I would burn alive sitting on the lifeguard stand. But apparently, if I want to find relatives without any kind of DNA test, I can just go to a local pool. Let's see, Neanderthal ancestry, paternal hapaplop group. I don't know what that is. What are you and King Louis the, what is that, 16? <laughs> yeah, I think I got that 16 have in common. You can order a hardcover book of your ancestry story. That's pretty cool, but I didn't do that. Find your matches, let's go to this. So it kind of goes in the order of the highest percentage. So I don't really have any first relatives that took this yet, but I got some K. Sherman Barnett White is a second cousin, 3.0% DNA shared. Got second cousins, third cousins. Don't know any of these people. Uh, so, so yeah, that kind of just goes through that, and it just I guess it just trails off, and I don't know, all kinds of stuff, and no names that are familiar to me, but you do a map, relatives map. How do I scroll down? So 439 relatives have added a location, so I guess it's up to them if they add location, but let's see, more ancestry things. Ancestry composition, whatever this is. So ancestry composition, it's got like, I guess, everyone's overseas. Scandinavia is in Denmark, as we see here. <laughs> I learned so much. Italian, definitely didn't get that skin color. Ah, uh, it's not fair. So here's like all ancestry reports. It just breaks down even more stuff. I don't have any of these ones in me. So yeah, that one's cool. And then we'll go to Ancestry or go to Health. We'll go to Health and see what this is about. So my action plan is to get on a treadmill powered by you. Let's see what this means. You have a slightly increased genetic risk for late onset Alzheimer's disease, which is associated with memory loss and cognitive decline. I already have memory loss right now a little bit. You have a slightly increased genetic risk of developing celiac disease, a condition where consuming gluten can result in damage to the small intestine. I eat a ton of gluten and I think I'm okay. Most people with your result do not develop celiac disease. So again, it's not like, I don't know, it says, it says you are, but then it says you're not, so. I don't know, it, it's, it just, it picks off little triggers, I guess. Let's see, let's go back to health overview. Health predisposition, 12 reports. All right, so there we go. Some celiac disease, slightly increased. Late Alzheimer's, we talked about that. Type two diabetes, I have type one diabetes, so that's already been proven. So that's a, I'm gonna change this to already there, buddy, <laughs> and then some. And then it's got all kinds of other stuff that, Variants not detected, not detected, park not detected, not detected. Woohoo! So that's cool. 
carrier status, 44 reports. That's no fun. I have all these things. So it's got like tons of these. Cystic fibrosis, glycogen storing disease, limb girl muscular dystrophy. All these things obviously I don't know. But yeah, all those variants are not detected, but find out how your DNA may affect your body's response to diet, exercise, and sleep. Alcohol flush reaction, and likely to flush. Caffeine consumption, likely to consume more. Yep, <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee. Um, deep sleep, less likely to be a deep sleeper. Yep, I used to be when I was younger, but now, not so much. Predisposed to weight, about average. Yeah. Lactose intolerant, likely tolerant. I drink a lot of milk. I, I just had a glass of milk, it was lovely. Uncommon in elite power athletes. What does that mean? Sleep movement, likely average or less sleep movement. Yeah, so that all sounds cool. Explore your genetics beyond your appearance and senses. Ability to match musical pitch. About a 50-50 chance of being able to match a musical pitch. Nope, can't do that, that's a 0% chance. Uh, asparagus odor detection, likely can smell. I guess I never thought about that. I eat asparagus. I smell it after I eat it, but that's something else. Bald spot, no. Bitter taste, likely can't taste. I can taste bitter stuff. Bunions, less likely than average to have bunion. I don't have a bunion, I don't even know what that is. I know it's on your foot. Likely no cheek dimples, I don't have any dimples. Cilantro taste aversion. Oh, I like cilantro. Cleft chin, likely no cleft chin. I think I, isn't that the cleft chin, that little, that little line right there? I think I got that. Dandruff. I get that, but I use like the head and shoulders with the zinc protection, so that's uh, that's how I combat that. Likely detached earlobes, nope, got detached ones. Likely no hair loss, I hope that's true. Wet earwax, what in the world? Eye color, likely brown or hazel, that's wrong. I got blue eyes, and they're very light blue, so that's definitely wrong. Fear of heights, yeah, I don't really have. Fear of public speaking, less likely to have a fear of public speaking. That is incorrect, <laughs> that is wrong in this, you guys should not take this test. It's it's wrong. Flat feet, likely a little freckling. I have freckling. Hair photo bleaching. Yeah, I get photo bleaching. Hair texture, likely straight. Yeah. Hair thickness, I have thick hair. Ice cream flavor. A 50-50 chance of preferring vanilla or chocolate. So, I didn't get in the swirl, I guess. Light or dark hair, lightly dark. No, that's wrong too. That's uh, This is likely bitten as often as others. No, I get bitten by mosquitoes all the time. Motion sickness. Uh, newborn hair. Photo sneeze, pho photic sneeze reflex. Likely, that's where I think that means you sneeze outside when you walk outside. I don't do it all the time. When it's sunny outside and I walk out of like Walmart or something like that, I just start having a sneezing attack. And So I think that's what that means. Likely no red hair. I think I got sprinkles of red hair in my little ginger Irishness. Likely lighter skin, correct. Prefer salty, yeah, probably. Unibrow. At least you have a little one. Likely to wake up 8.30, not if my alarm clock and I can hit the snooze button, I don't. All right, so there's that. Let's see. And on here you can connect, so if you have like family and friends that you wanna to connect to or whatever, if you guys both do the thing, then you can give them your thing and they can they can go through all your reports. They can look at your stuff. Uh, I did it with my kid's mom and I was able to look at hers and she was able to look at mine and scan it all over and stuff like that. And it's, So that's that's just kind of the, um, it's just a skim over it so you guys can kind of get a taste of what it all plays out to be. So it does have science and all the little test tube stuff behind it, which it picks out some things, but whatever, it's picking up little signs. Maybe I drank too much Kool-Aid that day when I spit in the bottle, I don't know, that made it to where I, some of my things didn't come true, but it's, it's another, like I said, another tool. So it's like, if you guys were ever interested in it, you can kind of get a glimpse of what my little thing looks like and decide then if you want to do it. I've, I've heard that the Ancestry.com one, uh, that's a, that one's been around longer. Um, and it does, I heard that one's really cool too. So it's probably more in depth than other things, but this one's, this one's cool, I like it. So yeah, if you're ever interested in it, I'd recommend checking it out. It's just, it's, it's pretty neat if you don't really have a definitive answer to where you're from. If you know your family history, which my family's kind of detached and we're kind of, you know, apart and that's kind of normal for us. So getting that information, you know, huge family reunions and talking to Uncle Joe or whatever just doesn't happen for me. So this can kind of gather all that information in for me in a mail off type fashion when I ever get around to mailing, which I finally did. And I'm happy that I mailed. It's very, it's a big success for me. That's like a milestone. That was, so anyway, I mean, hopefully this helps and thanks for watching, obviously. Uh, if you want to, if you want to know anything else, 
about it that I might have skipped through and you didn't quite understand or if you're interested in more stuff, you can throw something down in the comments and I could, I'll try to answer your question off that to kind of help clear up your mind a little better. But anyway, I will let you guys go and conclude this video because I don't want it to be super long and uh, you guys have a great day.